They got me feeling like I'm academics. Can't ride no way. We're going to get into this Kanye West interview shortly. Um, the interesting thing before I get into it is uh, let's actually let's actually get into this Bobby Althoff thing, okay? Okay, so Bobby Althoff. Give me one second. So Bobby Althoff recently, and this is being reported by the Daily Mail, that she was a, uh, she was, she was removed. And let me see if I could allow ads on this thing. I, th I think I know how to work this shit now. Where's my ad blocker? Where's my ad blocker? Okay, I'll just turn it off for this one. <laughs> okay. So. It says Bobby Althoff was removed from Drake's after party on Monday after she showed up uninvited amid their rumored feud. Sources have claimed, or sources claimed to DailyMail.com exclusively. It all went down at Mayfair Nightclub in Austin, Texas, after the South by Southwest premiere of the docuseries Magic City, an American fantasy which Drake's Dream Crew Entertainment co-executive produced. The party was hosted by Drake's team, but the rapper, which is, they put his age, 37, was not in attendance. Oh, okay. So Drake actually was not there. Well, I thought Drake was there. Let me see. Okay. Onlookers say they saw Bobby, who was also in Austin for South by Southwest, being removed by security when she turned up to Drake's event uninvited. A source inside his party told DailyMail.com, I had no idea how she got in because she was not invited by the organizers or hosted the event. If you look up the past history between her and Drake, you'll see why she wasn't invited and why she was re removed as soon as possible. Hmm. This is kind of interesting, right? I'm going to tell you why it's interesting. So Bobby, Bobby Althoff did like an interview recently. Bobby Althoff interview. So she did an interview and she was getting quizzed. Let me see talks about drake she basically didn't admit to any of the issues that supposedly we have heard about or know that's been happening with drake let me see uh who interviewed her somebody interviewed her i'm trying to figure out what she said Here we go, Bobby Althoff, Drake. Let's look in the last month. <coughs> she did an interview. I can't. I can't find it. Do you know who interviewed her? And basically, she was asked about Drake, and and, and she gave like a, a answer that was like, "Oh no, everything is fine." This uh, this thumbnail right here is that's where it's from. Oh, here we go. Okay, um, it's interesting, and by, by the way, I, I do think this headline is overblown, especially, like, l l let's put everything in perspective, Drake ain't at the party, do I think Drake got beef for her like that, Drake don't care like that, from what I've heard, um, th this is just what I've heard, honestly, about this whole Bobby Althoff and Drake thing, 
the situation is this. Bobby Althoff, and I, I think maybe she thinks she's in character a lot of times, even off camera. Yachty puts Drake, like Yachty was working with Drake during his whole album, right? He's like Yachty is the guy who put Drake on everything. Like, like no disrespect to Drake, but Drake at this point is like he's still trying to be edgy. This and third, Yachty is the guy like yo tap into this, tap into that, tap into this, tap into that. That's why some of the music sounds like how it sounds, right? Now, um, Drake, um, no, um, Yachty puts Drake onto like yo. I think you should go fuck with Shorty. She got like this little podcast, is whatever, whatever. whatever. Now, keep in mind, Drake already did, like, Caleb Presley in this and third. Drake goes and does this uh, interview for Shorty basically because Yachty told him to, right? Again, Yachty, and this is what I'm saying. I think for the last year or so, Yachty has been the creative director for, for Drake. This is why, like, no matter what you want to say about Yachty, we got to give him a little credit. Like, he's a creative director for my favorite rapper. So it's like, no matter what you want to say about him, he's influencing the best, right? Okay, cool. Drake goes and does it. Yachty goes and does a podcast, like, maybe, like, two episodes afterwards or whatever. She's blowing the fuck up. She starts pretty much almost, like, you know, being so arrogant that she's taking the character outside. Because, you know, her character is almost like like she's sitting in bed with or laying in bed with Drake. And she's like, nigga, what the fuck are we, like, what's one of your songs? Which is, like, you know, kind of like, Drake, you tell me why we should give a fuck about you. Which is, you know, either... Super pretentious or you're just lying, right? Um, so after she does the interview with Yachty, she starts kind of throwing Yachty under the bus, basically saying that Yachty was just weird, like just weird on and off camera, right? Which is kind of interesting because the thing with what she does and what Funny Marco does the equivalent of that situation and why her career went whatever is like Funny Marco with, with G Herbo and them. You know, Funny Marco and G Herbo are friends, right? But that situation came out looking weird. I'm going to tell you why it came out looking weird. Because you had G, G Herbo and them thinking, well, we're going to lean into the character because we know you're playing a character when you're interviewing us. You're playing this character that does these things. We're going to play this character and what happened is that they're just not as smooth as, like, the person who does it initially. So, you know, she took it a little bit serious with Yachty. And Funny Marco definitely took it serious with, with motherfucking Am Jirobo and them, right? So, anyway, that happens. And from what I hear is that Yachty and Drake collectively, and they're moving together. Like, they're homies, right? They're like, yo... We basically put Shorty on with us fucking with her, and she's acting big headed and also kind of being arrogant and also kind of throwing us under the bus like we're weird or not weird, but like Yachty's weird or whatever. And Drake doesn't fuck with her after that. Now, I don't know what happened in terms of what how Drake got her to take the interview down because the Yachty interview is still up, but that's supposedly the heart of the feud. She disrespected Yachty, Drake rides with Yachty. Nah, we ain't going for that. You get what I mean? Now, that's just as, from what I know, and, and I haven't heard anything else yet, that's as, as complicated or as simple as it gets. Now, does that mean, oh, you're going to kick this person out of a party that you're not at? Now, I don't think it's that serious. So I think this is kind of overblown just because we didn't get a full explanation. From what I heard, Drake just riding for Yachty, bro. Shorty was, she went on, I believe it was Barstool podcast and another podcast, and she talked about Yachty. Like a dog. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyway, do I believe all of this? Uh, mm, I do believe that she probably thinks she's a shit and probably is walking around South by Southwest trying to get into parties thinking that, well, I'm Bobby Althoff. And yeah, you're trying to get into Drake's party. Yes, he's not here. But there's no familiar faces. Like she's not even somebody who's like lit in the culture. You know, she's lit, but not culturally. So, yeah, she got removed. Of course, when people see she's getting removed or people see that she's escorted out or whatever the case is, people are going to make up this thing to say it's because Drake has his beef with her. Drake has no beef with her like that. Like, Drake's only riding for Yachty. That's it. That's from what I've heard, honestly. Okay? All right, people. Um, Holy. Oh, 